What's up guys, welcome back to the nursing channel. In this video, I'm gonna to demonstrate to you guys how to interview for a utilization review nurse position. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do this video, so here we go. I made it for you guys. So in this video, I'm gonna role play. I'm gonna act as the interviewer, and I'm also gonna asking the questions, and I'm also gonna act as the interviewee answering the questions. So I got about 10 questions that they're most likely gonna ask you during a utilization review nurse interview, okay? So let's get started. Hi, my name is Sam, nice to meet you. Hi Sam, nice to meet you. Thank you for uh, coming to the interview. Um, we're glad that you expressed interest in this position. We've been looking for somebody and so we hope that this, we hope that you're the, you're the correct candidate for this position. So let's get started. We got a few questions for you. And the first question we have for you is, what is your employment history? Uh, so my employment history is I started working as a med surge nurse for, uh, for a company called Adventist Health. And that was in a hospital in, in the state of California. As a med surge nurse, I took care of five patients at a time, doing wound care, giving medications, starting IVs, hanging IV bags, communicating with the doctors, communicating with other members of the interdisciplinary team, like the physical therapist, the speech therapist. And uh, also, I, was, uh, I also uh, delegated to uh, the nursing assistants and you know, just working as a team um, as, as a medical surgical nurse. Also, besides that, I also uh, worked in telemetry and in the ICU. In telemetry, I took, a, took care of four patients that were on a cardiac monitor. And um, yeah, I did full patient care for them. And also in the ICU, um, which was a more intensive care, um, I, I did that at the same hospital. And I did everything from uh, just monitoring the different lines, monitoring the lab values, and just communicating with the physician. Uh, communicating the patient's overall condition, any improvements or the patient that was declining and just doing full patient care. All right, thank you very much for that answer, Sam. The next question is, why do you want this job? So the reason why I want this job is because I'm looking to transition outside of, outside of patient care. Uh, I've noticed that, you know, doing patient care can take a toll on your body and I'm looking for a position where I can stay in, in it long-term, um, a position that I can retire with. And I looked into utilization review and I really liked the, the job duties that a nurse does because you, need, you still need to utilize your, your nursing skills, your nursing critical thinking skills. And not only that, but you also get to uh, contribute to the hospital or the, fi or, or the medical institution financially by making sure that um, the patient's insurance is being billed correctly. Thank you very much for that answer, Sam. Uh, the other question I have for you is, have you ever had to deal with any irate or angry patients or family members? And how, how did you handle it? Um, yeah, I can remember a time when, when I was working with a patient who um, had a difficult time at the, hos at the hospital because he felt like his pain was not being adequately controlled. He kept complaining that the doctor wasn't giving him the correct pain medication and that none of the nurses were, were, were listening to him. So when I was his nurse, um, I listened to his concerns. And as a nurse, I wanted to make sure that I, I advocated for him. So I told the patient, hey, I understand you're in pain and you feel like the current pain regimen is not helping you out. Let me speak with, with the doctor and see what we can do for you. So I called the doctor and told him, hey, I, just, I explained the situation to him that the patient wasn't, didn't feel like his pain was being managed appropriately. So um, thank, thankfully enough, I was able to, uh, to, to come to terms with the doctor and the doctor prescribed him a different pain regimen. And this new pain regimen that he prescribed to the patient actually worked a lot better. And so the patient just felt like his pain was was being treated a lot better. And he was just thankful with me that, you know, he he even gave me a good review in the hospital. So um, 
that was one way that I, that, that's one way I would, that, that's one example of how I um, handled a, a, a patient that was upset. Okay, thank you, Sam. And what's the next question I have for you is, how do you handle stressful situations? So me, the way I handle stressful situations is I always um, tell myself that I need to be calm, collected, and composed because if you are just too anxious or you feel like you have too much pressure or you feel like um, when you allow your emotions to take, take control of you, then your, your, your thinking becomes clouded and you can't think very clearly. So when I'm in a position where there's a lot of pressure and a lot of stress, I try to keep myself calm and composed as much as possible so that I can think clearly through the situation and be able to handle it correctly. Thank you very much, Sam. Uh, the next question I have for you is, can you work under pressure without losing your cool? Yeah, definitely. I, um, I've trained myself through multiple situations to keep calm under stressful situations. I remember working on the floor, there would be a lot of cold blues and my patients would be declining rapidly and I had to intervene for them and I remember that I always stayed calm and collected and I was able to delegate to my other uh, colleagues so that we can all work as a team to help this patient get better. Um, so yeah, that's my answer. Um, thank you, Sam. The next question is, how would your best friend describe you? My best friend would describe me as a person that's energetic, patient, and all is always looking to do something. He would describe me as a person that cannot stay still, that always is looking to, like for example, I'm always trying to keep myself busy. Even if I have downtime, I always try to keep my, I try to keep myself busy doing, doing some type of hobby, whether that's uh, working on my car, um, going to the gym to work out, reading a book, um, visiting a friend or family member. Um, that's the way um, my friend would describe me. Very good. Sam, w w my next question is what motivates you? What motivates me is being, is, is being able to impact someone's life in a positive way. As long as I know that whatever I'm doing is, imp is, is making an impact in somebody else's life, positively that is what brings me motivation that's what brings me excitement that's what gets me up in the morning every day very good sam uh next question for you is how do you prioritize your work when several tasks tasks come up at once so uh the way i would like to answer that question is i remember i was working on as a, as of when i was working on the med search floor you're always put, being put into situations where there's lots of things to do at once, but you, but you have to realize you're only one person, so you can only do one thing at a time. So I, always, well, I would always have to prioritize what I'm gonna do first and what I'm gonna do last. For example, when a patient, uh, patient was complaining of pain and I had another com patient com uh, pressing the call light because he needed to go to the restroom. And then I had another patient that needed to discharge home. I, I would always look at all three patients and see which patient needs my attention first and, and then determine which patient I can see last. For example, the patient that was discharging, I know I could see last because they're already medically stable. And so they don't need my attention right away. The patient that's complaining of pain I will prioritize because, you know, pain is something we don't want to allow our patients to experience for too long. And if we can control it as much as possible, I want to be that person that can intervene. So that's, that's the way I would prioritize my tasks.
Very good, Sam. The next question I have for you is, what are some important skills for util for the utilization review nurse position? Uh, I'm sorry, Sam, let me ask you that question again. What are some important skills required for the utilization review nurse position? All right, so some of the skills I, I believe that are required for the utilization review nurse position is um, you need to have critical thinking skills. You need to be able to understand and read patient's progress notes, understand what's going on with the patient, why, why they were being admitted, what kind of treatment they're receiving, understand the length of stay for specific diagnosis that patients are admitted into. Um, so all of that information combined is our, our skills that are necessary. Also being able to understand whether a patient, whether, whether a patient needs to be in the hospital or whether they can be discharged. I think those skills combined are necessary for the utilization review nurse position. Last question for you, Sam. What are some of the unsatisfactory performance reviews you have received? So I have not received unsatisfactory performance reviews, but I would say that there are there is always room for improvement. I, I understand I'm not a, a perfect nurse. I understand that as human beings, there's always room to grow. We cannot know everything. So every day as a nurse, I'm always seeking to learn new, new uh, nursing practices and always seeking to learn how I can do what I'm doing currently better than yesterday and the day before that. All right, thank you very much, Sam, for answering these questions. Uh, we will give you a call back if we feel that you are the correct candidate. Thank you for taking the time, and we wish you good luck. All right, guys, that was me answering the questions for a, for a utilization review nurse position. I hope this, this video helped you guys and gave you some guidance on how to apply for the utilization review nurse position and how to interview for it. If you guys have any questions, any concerns, or any comments, leave them in the comments section below. Let me know how I can make this video better, or if you want, if you if you have any questions regarding the inter the interview um, process. And guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. I appreciate each one of you, and I hope you guys are successful when you guys interview for a utilization review nurse position. I'm out, guys. Peace.